All right, here's some questions from section 3.2. Um, uh, looking at solving quadratic equations again. <clears throat> so this one, it almost looks like a quadratic, eh? like an x squared plus something x plus a number equals zero, but it's a one-half. Well, I guess what I could do is I could say, well, I don't want the one-half to be that. I want to change that so it's x squared. So maybe what would I have to raise that to uh, to get a squared out of the deal? Would that be a way I could talk about it? Sure. So, um, well, another way I could do it, I guess, is I could say, rather than having an x, x to the one-half there, let us um, uh, replace that. Maybe why don't we replace the x to the quarter? I wonder if that would work. So let's replace the x to the quarter with just an x. So that's going to be minus 3x. But then um, if I'm saying let x to the 1 quarter equals x, well, maybe let's use a different letter. Let's use like a. I think the book uses u's. But let's put an a there. Then I'd want to know what x to the 1 half is. I'm thinking it'll be a squared. Uh, but I'm hoping it's a squared, but let's just see. So if x to the quarter is equal to a, then uh, I, what I'm wanting to know is what do I have to put this number here uh, to get um, 1 half? If I put a 2 there, if I square that, then uh, 1 quarter times 2 is 2 fourths, which is 1 half. That's what I want. So, uh, one half, <coughs> um, wherever I see one quarter, I'm going to call it an A, and wherever I see actually one half, I'm going to call it A squared. So this would be A squared minus 3A plus 2 equals 0. And then I factor, just like I always do. So it would be A minus 2, A minus 1 equals 0. So either A equals 2, or A is equal to 1. But a is equal to x to the quarter. So I need to replace the a here with an x to the quarter is equal to 2, and x to the quarter is equal to 1. But I don't want x to the quarter, I want just an x. So if I raise this to the fourth power, uh, 1 quarter times 4 comes out to x to the first, which is just x. But if I raise this side to the quarter, I have to do it to that side. So 2 to the quarter or 2 to the 4 is equal to 16, I think. So 16 is one of my answers. And then the other one, I'll do the same thing. Uh, so that will be x is equal to 1 to the 4th would be 1. And then a good idea is probably to take these numbers and plug them back in and see if they actually, when you put them in, come up with 0. I'll let you do that. Here's another question. And they say solve this. Again, this is the same as this, so it's sort of like something squared plus or minus four something plus three equals zero. So we could do something like this where we say, well, let's let t two t squared plus t let's that let that equal a letter. Let's go f. Okay, so this is f squared minus 4f plus 3 equals 0. Okay, to solve, it's a quadratic, so I can factor it. So f, f, um, minus 3, minus 1, I think is right. So either f equals 3 or f is equal to 1. But I'm not wanting to solve for f, I'm wanting to solve for t. So over here I said let this equal to f, so I can, wherever I see an f, I can write 2t squared plus t equals 3, or 2t squared plus t is equal to 1. Then I'll solve each of those equations. So since they're quadratic, I'll bring the t 3 over to this side, and then I'll try and factor. And you can do uh, um, the AC method, or you can do the uh, guessing one. Same thing with this, 2t squared plus t minus 1 equals 0. Again, factor. Looks like I'm going to get four answers for this one.
So I'd put a 2t there and a t there, probably a 1 there and a 3 there. And the 3's got to be bigger, so it's plus and this is minus. So on this side, t is going to be negative 3 halves, and this one will be positive 1. Same thing here, uh, 2t and a t has to be 1, 1. And this one will be positive and this one negative, I think. So this one will give me 1 half and this one will give me negative 1. So for that question, I have four uh, answers. Tough ones. All right, let's try some other ones. I've got a worded question here. So they say, after declining uh, between 40 and 80, the number of multi-generation American households has increased since 80, according to that function. So it can be used to estimate the number of multi-generation in the US. So this is how many multi-generational homes there are in the US. Uh, oh, in millions. Okay, so I uh, take whatever number they give me, and uh, I won't use the million part. So they say, in what year were there 40 million generation households? So that's the answer to that question right there. So h of x is 40 is equal to 0.012x squared minus 0.583x plus 35.727. It's a quadratic, so I need to bring everything over to one side to make it equal to zero. And then 35 point whatever minus 40 is going to be a negative 4.273, I think. Now that's something that I'm not going to try and factor. So with that one, I would bring out the uh, quadratic formula and plug it into the quadratic formula and see what it comes out to. So there should be two answers to that. This function would look something like this. And so uh, there could be two answers where you have 40 as your y value. And you're wanting to figure out your x values. And so this formula here Hello. will give you your two x values. Hi, how are you? Okay, all right, here. Oh, that's okay. Length of the rectangular poster is a foot more than the width. Okay, there's a poster, and the length is a yeah. foot more than the width. So uh, here's the width. So the length has to be width plus one. This is the diagonal of the poster is five. Find the length and the width of the poster. So. Um, but since this is the relationship here of this right triangle, that is a um, Pythagoras. So I can go a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a, let's call it that one. So w squared plus b, let's call it this one. So that's okay. w plus one squared yeah, is equal to c squared is always our hypotenuse. So five squared is 25. So now I'll go what, w squared plus I'll need to foil that out, so yeah, there's two of them. So this would be w squared plus w plus another w plus 2w yeah, plus well, 1. And then it's a quadratic, so I'll collect like yeah, terms and make it equal to 0. So it'll be 2w squared plus 2w, and 1 take away 25 would be a negative 24 okay, equals so 0. Everything's divisible by 2, so let's divide everybody by 2. So it would be w squared plus w minus 12 is equal to 0. Now let's factor that. w, w, so 3 and 4, I think, a plus 4 and a minus 3. So w is equal to 3, or w is equal to negative 4. But negative 4, is, it can't be a width, so I'd be saying the width is 3. So they say find the length and the width. Oh, right. So the width is three, and the length is one more than the width, so the length is gonna be four. Next question. Oh, we can sit down. Okay, let's, oh, here's the box one. So here's the box, there's an open box made of 10 by uh, 20 centimeter. Let me, let me draw another better picture. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. there's, uh, no, I've got some tin. And then so they cut perfect. corners in it. 
Okay. And then they fold this up. And they fold this did up. Did you run? Where, oh, you, where did you fold go? Fold that to run. and fold that up to make a box. And then they probably welded the corners. Okay, but this distance from there to there, they say is 10. But then they say the area of the resulting base, that's just the base in the middle. It's not the side stuff, so it's just this piece in here, they say is 96. So I know area is equal to length times width. So the area they say is 96, but then the length is from here to here. So the whole distance is 20, but I just want this distance. So what I could do is I could assign, that because all of these little spaces that they're cutting out are uniform, so they're square. So why don't we call each of those distances x? What did we see someone have that was So the distance from here to here is 20. So the distance from here to here has got to be 20 less those two x's. So that width or that length there is going to be 20 minus the two axes. I don't know what it was. Anyway. Okay, so that's, maybe I'll change color here. So that's from here to here. Now following the same logic, let's do purple. From here to here, that distance has got to be 10 minus those two axes. So that's what my length and my width are. So my length is 20 minus 2x and my width is 10 minus 2x. Okay, let's foil the stuff on the right. So 200 minus 40x minus 20x plus 4x squared is equal to 96. It's a quadratic. Let's get it other than on the right-hand side and put it in the right order. So it'll be 4x squared. This will be a minus 60x. And 200 minus 96 what is 104. So plus 104 equals zero. Looks like everybody's divisible by four. Let's do that. So zero equals x squared minus 15x plus uh, 26, I think. And now a factor. So x and an x. Things are multiplied 26 out to 13. I'm thinking 13 and two. So minus 13 minus two. So either x is 13, or x is equal to 2. So that's what this distance is here. Uh, that's what x is. Now, if this whole distance is 10, there's no way that distance could be 13. So I'm canceling that one out. So that distance there has to be 2. So they just say what the length of sides is square. That's, uh, that's OK. So the length of size is 2. But an interesting question would be, what are the lengths of the sides? So it would be 10 minus 2x, okay, yeah. or 10 so minus 2 times 2, or 10 minus 4. So this side's got to be 6. Same thing here, 20 minus 4 is 16. Yeah, so hopefully 16 times 6 gives you the 96. And I think it yeah. does. All right, hopefully that helps you with those uh, okay, questions. Well, sounds good. Um, okay, see ya. Yeah, if you have any more, give me a shout.